What's doing and welcome to another episode. This week we have an N80. It's not my N80, it's another customer's N80. Uh, they've got some wheel speed sensor issues, so we've got to get those sorted. Uh, but then after that, in the next couple of weeks, we will have more stuff on my car. We have got parts coming, so as soon as those parts arrive, we'll get stuck in. So I know plenty of you are waiting for my N80. Uh, it's out the front, it's waiting on parts. As soon as they arrive, we'll get stuck in. But for now, stay tuned, check out Tim's video on how to fix this N80 issue, and uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe at the end. Hey guys, Tim from ProCheck Automotive here. So we have a little bit of an interesting one here today. We have a Toyota Hilux, a 2017. We have a intermittent dash light for the check engine and traction control, which we're reading as a vehicle speed sensor fault. The speedo still works in the dash. So this one is gonna take a little bit of time to figure out. I'll walk you through what I found and um, it may help you out one day. So to cut to the chase, to make this as short and sweet as possible, we did the basic checks, fuses, relays, um, all that sort of stuff. Use the live data to check for vehicle speed, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we didn't come up with a lot. Um, so the next step was to do a visual inspection of the car. Sometimes trailer plugs, things like that can cause drama. So we've come around to the back of the car and um, I'll just show you what I found. So we found that the tail light wiring has actually shorted out against the tray. While we don't know at this point what it was related to, we thought, well, that's a fault. We've got to fix that. We'll start here. It's really common for a whole lot of different components to share the same earths in um, the modern day car electrical system. So following the wiring from the back of the car, we traced it up and we found in behind the stereo, um, well, I'll show you what I found. As you can see here, we've got a whole heap of burnt wires. Now, according to the wiring diagram, these share common earths with the vehicle speed sensor. So this is gonna be the best place to start. There's no guarantee that this is going to fix the problem. This could have shorted out and damaged the sensor, but of course we need to repair this first before we can move on to the next stage of the diagnosing. Okay, so this is the first of the repairs done. So I've centered that plug now, so it's not touching on the tray. What I've also done is I've put in a P-clip there just to help secure that wiring. So it shouldn't be able to move or contact, shouldn't be able to contact that metal plate again and short out. So that's that one. Let's move inside and start the hard stuff. So that burnt wiring has all been soldered up, cut, joined, taped up. So the moment of truth, let's find out if this thing works. And we now have a vehicle speed again. Well, there you go. Um, burnt out wiring from the um, number plate light. Bit of a weird one, uh, but hey, we got it sorted. That's the main thing. I've got to put all this dash back together now, but um, yeah. Hopefully this helps. If it did, leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe the video, and all that exciting stuff. Thanks heaps for watching. See yous.